All right, everybody. Thank you for joining me for this somewhat spontaneous stream. I really should not organize spontaneous streams because I got distracted. <laughs> it started late and I have no hold screens, no overlays for this or anything because um, I didn't replan it. I just thought I would do it because um, I had a bit of time spare. And um, yeah, <laughs> here I am. So what? who am I first? And then we'll talk about what I'm actually going to do. Who am I? I am Christian Chiller. I'm a writer, um, blogger, video maker, podcast maker, etc., etc. And in a lot of my spare time, I make uh, interactive fiction, games, things like that. I'm also working on my first novel, um, but I'm not going to be talking about that. I've actually been doing a flash fiction writing competition this month, which has been quite fun, actually. I'm just getting up the link to show you all. Da, 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 da. Flash Fiction February, it's called. Um, and every day you get a prompt and you write about 500 words. So I am mostly done. I think I'm missing one of the month so far. Um, and I thought I would do today using an AI autopilot. An AI autopilot to partner with me on the writing and see what happens. I actually covered this uh, a little while ago, um, GitHub autopilot, mostly designed for coding and for, I suppose, technical copy. So I was interested to see what would happen if I tried it with uh, creative writing. And 500 words seems like a good amount to try it with. So firstly, I'm going to show you. This is the competition, Storytelling Collective. You can actually join the competition for free. They also have some classes. I've actually signed up for another one. You can see all the ones I've done here so far. The 15th Desert. What is the date, actually? <laughs> 17th. So, I think I missed the desert. Mountain I started. So actually, I'm a little bit further behind than I thought. But today I'm going to focus on this one, mood. Okay. I usually use Scrivener for my uh, creative writing, but that will not work for GitHub Autopilot. It has to be in Visual Studio Code, which if you're joining me from the creative writing world, might seem like a slightly unusual place, but I actually use it all the time for my technical writing, which is kind of what I do for a day job. Um, and actually, I generally quite like it, but uh, <laughs> I don't usually use it for my um, creative writing, but I'm going to need to here. So you can find the video that I did before on my YouTube and... No, it won't be on Twitch anymore, but on my YouTube channel. And you can find a general video I did on Copilot. That is an AI pair programmer, which suggests line completions and entire function bodies. But it also does actually work on text. And this is what I was interested to find out. So let's enable it. Give this human a little bit of a... Um, I can't think of the right words. <laughs> Something or other. So that's generally enabled by default. Once you start something, you can see it down. It's very hard to see, but this little this little thing down here shows us it's enabled. We have to create a um, file that it recognizes. So we'll do that now. Mood. So this is going to be Markdown, which um, yeah, is just another somewhat standard format for a lot of um, technical copy, but also other copy you might have come across it. I won't go too much into that right now. If you are joining from my kind of usually more um, technical audience, then you know what Markdown is, but if you are not, then you don't. Now, what it tends to do is you start typing and then it suggests things. So I'm gonna have to set kind of a few ground rules here, I think, because there's going to be definitely times when it's too wild. There's going to be times where it may suggest nothing. 
So I don't know. I think I'll have to decide how and when I pick what the AI assistant chooses. Let's just start. Now, I need to start with an idea first. Mood. Hmm. I've been using this also as an excuse to try different sorts of writing styles uh, and different perspectives. So Storytelling Collective tends to go a little bit more on the kind of fantasy side. Like, not just fantasy, but fantasy, science fiction, uh, high fiction, for want of a better word. Um, mood. Hmm. Okay, all right then. So. So, <laughs> this is already kind of interesting. Um, some of that is kind of nonsense for creative writing, but I don't know what a psychopomp is, but I, I quite like the sound of it. So <laughs> now the thing is here, I don't want to accept all of the auto-completion. I only really want the psychopomp. So I'll have to, and it hasn't really got the, um, the uh, quote marks in the right place, but let's, I don't know what a psychopomp is, but I'm gonna go with it. So said the psychopomp. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of liking this. Uh, I think we better stop doing dialogue or it could get a bit weird. So I don't know where this story is going to go, really. I have a vague idea influenced by a Philip K. Dick story, uh, which I can't quite remember what it's called, but this um, sleep therapist who influences the dreams of a, like a lucid dreamer to make the dreams come true. And that's sort of what I'm loosely going for here. But let's see. So, said the psychopomp, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm not sure who the narrator is in this case, but I, I should actually spell things correctly. I frowned. It says full stop. I think I'm going to go with a comma here. <laughs> I frowned. I'm going to do something. So this is where the artificial intelligence gets weird with the... Uh, human language is it just seems to just keep repeating itself over and over again. So I think I'm going to push it a little bit more before I accept this. So I frowned. Um, I was the one who was supposed to be getting therapy, not the other way around. And I'll fix these typos. This is a squiggly line for something else, which I've done plenty of videos on in the past. Have a look for Veil for if you're interested in what these squiggly lines are. I found I was the one who was supposed to be getting therapy, not the other way around. Um, but I didn't know what to say. I, I quite like that. <laughs> I quite like that. Mm -hmm. I might actually not do a new sentence though. So. couch and try to think of something to say so this is you see what i mean with creative fiction it tends to just repeat its patterns over and over again um i lean back okay, i think it'd be lay back it would be better anyway i lay back on the couch and counted sheep in my mind until i got a better idea okay that'll do <laughs> That will do. And where's the story going to go now? Um, I around. Didn't know what to say, and instead I lay back on the couch and counted sheep in my mind until I got a better idea. It's saying 10 minutes and... <laughs> cheap. I was going to go for 100. It went for 10. $100 later... <laughs> See, I kind of like the start here, but um, it repeats itself a bit too much. You can also get this, and it will give different suggestions, but I'm not sure if we're going to get many with uh, human language as opposed to code. Yeah, I don't think anything's going to happen there. Okay. 10 minutes and $100 later, um, the... 
disappointment was over and I was left wondering. Wondering. No. Not had just. Yeah, okay. That was exactly what I was going to correct, right? Now, I should probably get the. I, I, actually, there's no compulsion to, but I should probably get the word. Uh, suggestion in but actually this autocomplete one I, I kind of like <laughs> uh, panic and I was not sure what I was doing what had just happened I'm in a state of panic and I'm not sure what I was doing without my no a week without my normal therapy session would leave me the story has not gone where I expected <laughs> but that was kind of the point in uh... wow it gets quite dark quite quickly um... now what <laughs> now the story has not gone anywhere I expected I don't really know what to write next we're one fifth through this nonsense A week without my normal therapy session would leave me in the strangest of moods. I did what I always do in these situations, and I'm intrigued to know, and I was able to get through it. It's not very descriptive. <laughs> I went to the bathroom and took a shower. Okay, why not? Letting the warm, I shudder to think, I mean, it's a good start, but we're already in the bathroom, so <laughs> so let's let's edit here. I took a deep breath, and let's see if we get any better suggestions. Went to the bathroom. No, we've already been to the bathroom. Um, shed the sweat and the cold. I took a deep breath, and okay, I need to think of something else to finish this sentence because I'm not going to get in a constant cycle of going to the bathroom. Breath and relaxed and then I went back to my therapy session yeah, it doesn't really make sense <laughs> I like the fact that I'm writing um, a uh, AI assisted piece of content that's about going to therapy <laughs> yeah <laughs> Now, where does the story go next? Um, hmm. I, okay. Fueled by strange visions and daydreams, I decided to write. I might as well make use of the time I had. No. Okay. I turned, it would be helpful to spell correctly. I turned on the computer and started writing. I mean, that's logical. <laughs> it's, it's not particularly interesting, but it's logical. Okay. Words flowed from my mind, and I was writing them down. I'm going to accept the first half of that, actually. Mind. Fluid. Ugh. And free. I wrote of. What is it going to suggest? I wrote of. Nothing. Maybe we'll go for something more obvious. I wrote about. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little um, uninspiring. I wrote about strange... No. Strange lands full of 
Strange creatures, strange people, strange things. Yeah, I mean, it's repetitive, but it works. <laughs> Although we, we've got a little bit of drama to things there. Strange things. There were... <laughs> I kind of like it, but <laughs> it's a little repetitive. Uh, there were... New colors and smells. New sounds, new smells, and new things. Double the smells. Uh, new colors and new smells. And new creatures that I had never seen before. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That looked like me. Ooh. It's not where I was going, but I kind of like that. Look like me. Uh, awakened from my writing frenzy. <laughs> um, mm. Mm. Let's 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 start that again. I awakened from my writing frenzy. In a sweat again, I bet, and a cold. I was ready to go. Okay, that's not quite right. Uh, in a in a sweat. How long had it been? I looked outside the window and saw what did I see? The sun shining through the clouds. Uh, <laughs> and that wasn't quite where I was going to go. I looked outside the window and saw a world transformed. Instead of the normal trees and shops were... I mean, it's a bit wordy, but <laughs> it's kind of where I was going. So. A forest full of strange trees and shops. The people were replaced by strange people and the animals were replaced by strange animals. The world was, come on, you can do this, full of strange things. <laughs> very good, very good. Hmm. I, what did I do next? <laughs> it likes repeating the final sentence over and over again, strangely. I, hmm. with... Nothing better to do. I went to the bathroom and took a shower. Okay, you're a bit obsessed. You're a bit obsessed, but okay. Nothing better to do. I went outside to the bathroom. Okay. Uh, experience this new world. I mean... <laughs> It's sort of vaguely accurate, but it's a bit repetitive again. So, uh, to experience this new world. The first creature I met, and if it says it was strange, I will go mad, was a strange creature. It was a creature that looked like me, but it was not me. It was a creature that... I, I, I actually kind of like this. <laughs> I actually kind of like this. It's extremely repetitive, as I sort of alluded to, but, but I kind of like it. Uh, it was a strange creature. It was a creature that looked like me, but it was not me. It was a creature that had a strange face and a strange voice and a strange smell and a strange body. It was a creature that had a strange mind. Here we go. Just like, come on, me. Yes, brilliant. Okay. I was thirsty, so went to a shop. You always seem to need certain words to get it to do something. To buy water. I bought a bottle of water and drank it. Okay, okay, but what was what was different about that water? It was unlike any water I had drunk before. It was... Okay, sure, I never said I was hungry, but why not? <laughs> why not? Now, <laughs> still got a hundred and seven words to go. <laughs> I don't really know what to do next. Um, 
Maybe we could start a conversation. Hmm. I felt alone and in need of conversation. So I went to a shop. <laughs> it's getting very. <laughs> um, you don't really buy a book for conversation anyway. So, so I need of conversation. Let's try that again. I decided to, and if you say I went for a shower, then go, no, okay. I think it's getting a bit lost right now. To greet one of the uh, strange people I met. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I kind of like this. Let's maybe trim it a bit. I decided, you also notice it tends to pick generally quite short words. I decided to greet one of the strange people I met. I said hello, and the strange person said hello back. I asked the strange person what was going on. The strange person said that I was in a strange mood and that I was not sure what I was doing. <laughs> I wonder if we can get a different suggestion to the end there. And that I, oops, I should go to the bathroom. Maybe we'll stick to what it said before. <laughs> Ulysses had just come home. I don't know what it means, but why not? Okay, let's go for it then. I asked, who is... No? <laughs> really? Okay, that's a word you suggested and you're not suggesting it again. And what did they reply? Ulysses is a strange, you can see where this is going, it's a strange, no, okay, it doesn't want to finish that sentence for me. Ulysses is a strange, no, okay, all right. Let's maybe uh, finish this in a different way. Um, oh, oh, the strange person said, I don't know, but I know that he is the, all right, why not, why not? He is the, he is the, no? Okay, <laughs> leave me hanging. I don't know, he is the, all right. Oh, hang on, what was that? The one who's in, no, okay, all right, fine. He is the, it was then that I awoke. I was back in my therapy session. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Had it all been a dream? That's kind of where I was going. I think I might drop the the rest of it. Uh, did the did the therapist have a name? Oh, psychopomp. Psychopomp. <laughs> I forgot about the psychopomp. The psychopomp looked at at me and said, "No." I would like to uh, to add that my writing is usually a little better than, than this, but um, <laughs> I don't know how to end. <laughs> it looked at me. Let's, let's go for something slightly different with a knowing smile, and said. Why the hell not? <laughs> there you go. Creative writing with an AI assistant. I think you can all be happy in the knowledge that you're not out of work as fiction writers yet. It makes sense, but barely. It's extremely repetitive. <laughs> but there we go. There is my piece for mood. Let's pop that into Scrivener. You can see some of my others here. Oh no, I did do desert. 
Oh, I think I put that in the wrong one. But anyway, um, you probably can't see this. It doesn't really matter too much. Mood and there we go. <laughs> I should probably put this in brackets in case I forget when I read back and think, what on earth was I thinking? There we go. So, <laughs> that was interesting. Um, if you enjoyed that, found it intriguing, then you can find some of my previous videos, including a far more in-depth analysis of uh, GitHub Copilot at kristenschiller.com or wherever you are watching this. And you can also find some of my normal writing and some of my creative writing and game writing at kristenschiller.com as well. Um, I'll be back with some of my normal videos. I have a few I'm editing at the moment that I'll put up soon, and I'll be doing some of my regular programming next week, Monday and Friday. So, thank you very much. That was an experience. That was interesting. I think we proved that uh, humans are around a little while yet, but um, thank you very much for joining me and Copilot. And Copilot says, I am in a strange mood.